going to see the old city in Aarhus. It's called the, the Gamle By. Uh -huh. And it's an ancient city built up like it was many, many, many years ago, actually. So. Wow, this is beautiful, isn't it? Look at the carving over that archway. Definitely is. This is the Renaissance Garden over here, I believe, and this is um, old farm buildings. We'll have a wander in there and have a wander around. Yeah. This is so. This is basically a wild garden. All these plants here are wild Danish plants, which you also find across uh, most of Northern Europe. Beautiful, isn't it? And you're looking down, it's all marked into different banks, different types of herbs as well. Mm. And the building at the background is absolutely superb. Just taking the camera across there. And that's typically Danish architecture. It's really beautiful here. Is that a typically old Danish door? It would be. Look at this beautiful. Iron. The ironwork there, yeah. 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 Strap, well, strap hinges, they're called. Yeah, that's very beautiful. And the inlay of brick as well. Yeah. Let's have a wander in here, shall we? I typically, oh, I love those stoves, those big. You find these in Austria as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're enameled, the ones in Austria, the traditional ones. Yeah, they, ones. Were, they were with the smaller, what do you call them? Normally they didn't, but they came later. I think these are older. These it's, are before the, the other came. So what we're actually in, we're actually in a tailor's workshop. Yeah. Um, because over here are all the traditional tools and the sewing machine. That would have been quite modern, really. This is a book of gentlemen's outfits, isn't it? Showing different patterns and what they look like and how each piece of cloth is cut. And in here is a typical salon, look. Victorian salon. Definitely Victorian with all this heavy. Yeah. yeah, but it's very rich, it's very comfortable though, isn't it? Yeah. It's not uncomfortable to look at. Not at all. Yeah. And outside here, look at this, this is an old uh, sledge. Let's get a shot of this. I think this is a horse. horse yeah, it's a sledge, it's a winter sledge. Yeah, but I think, I think that would be. Yes, this is a small. Yeah, it would be horses. horses yeah. 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 Or even dogs that train the jogs. Yeah, many dogs. Yeah, like a, like a And this is the tobacco curing shed. And if we look up here, this is where the leaves were hung to dry and cure. And there's a few more down here. And the building itself is very, very crudely made. It's just literally taken rough beams of wood of the right proportionate size, and they've just been built together. But it's it's really nice. And now we go through that door. Well, in front of me, what we have here is a very early version of a Danish pizza cutter. Um, <laughs> this is actually a tobacco cutting machine. And you'd use the handles to rock it and it would cut the tobacco leaf at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And you've got a press over there for drying. This is marvellous, isn't it? I love these little rooms with those windows. And see the old-fashioned glass, the rough cast yeah, glass here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and then through here. There's a huge press here, look at this. Yeah. That is massive. And then look at the wood, it's all solid oh, oak, yeah. oak beams. Yeah. They knew how to build things in the old days, didn't they? Definitely. And over here is a cooking half. Actually, in the good old days, they used this for, uh, like, uh, to wash clothes in. It's a lovely room. This is, and look at, I'll just get a shot of the stove, and then I want you to have a look to the left. The stove is absolutely exquisite. And look at that lovely room. Have a look. Look at the stove. Yeah. Wow. Isn't that impressive? Yeah, it is. And look at the size of that cigar. Yeah. It does remind me of something, but I won't say what it is. And then down the far end, you've got an, another pile of cigars there. Yeah. Who would smoke a cigar that big? Actually, I don't know. <laughs> this is a mid-19th century tobacconist, and in larger Danish market towns, a tobacconist was considered an exclusive shop. Hmm. And in the back, there's all the tobacco put into packets mm -hmm. in different sizes. This is beautiful, isn't it? Oh. What do you think? What do you think of your country's history? I think it's very interesting and and also very fascinating, actually. Yeah, yeah. It's really good, isn't it? I, I really love to see how people were living, and because it tells me a lot about. Conditions and yeah, stuff like that. And it's so hot today as well, isn't it? It's mm -hmm. absolutely gorgeous. So actually, they made this long, like like a sausages of, of of tobacco, and then they cut it like in the cutting machine. Look there, mm -hmm. they, they cut it. They collect the right yeah. length. It's an amazing building here. It's absolutely exquisite. And again, they park it. It's almost like parquetry, isn't it, with brick? And this barn at the back, it looks like an old mill. I think it has been an old mill because you can see the opening up there. They would have to take up, would you like a lift, you know? Uh -huh. They would have to lift up things and down, up and down. And a canal there, look. Yeah. And yet in the background, modern Aarhus is still there, sorry. And the wagon and horses. Because we are living in 1864 here in the city, actually, and it's a hard time because the whole of uh, the whole of Jutland is actually occupied right now by poison. It's a German federation. So uh, I was wondering if you have any news for us, because I heard that you are English, and we are hoping that the English might will come and help us sort well, the conflict out. We just saw a party of Germans next door, but they moved on. Okay, they moved on. <laughs> yeah. So, but not uh, Copenhagen is not uh, occupied, but only uh, only Jutland. Okay. So, uh, if uh, the fine lady has any values in her purse, Do you have any can, values uh, in your I purse? Can, I, I can recommend that uh, you will take it and uh, you bury it in the, the ground. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, the Germans they will uh, probably find it. And what are you drinking? Uh, this is Sunday, so right now it's only uh, a mix of uh, beer with uh, water. All oh, right. Okay. Normally it will be something stronger, but not on Sundays, so it's not good. But I can tell you, um, you will have to be careful and you will have to look after your uh, fine lady in the city because uh, Sophus Clausen, the man playing the music, yeah. yes. yeah. he is uh, a married man, mm -hmm. but he is also very happy with uh, looking after girls. He's amorous. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So uh, I will be very careful when you walk. Well, let's together. be careful when we walk past there. Yeah. <laughs> what do you say to that, my Brit? I really have to take care of that, yes. Yeah, yeah. it would be a good Tuesday idea. Tuck. Yeah. Yes, can I press <laughs> so, <laughs> he's, um, as I told you, this 1864, so he was actually wounded in the war. Mm -hmm. okay. Had a grenade shell in his uh, back head. So, yeah, he's only, he doesn't remember where we will. Well, we're going to walk past the lecherous womanizer now. Yeah. And, I'm <laughs> <laughs> and he's taking, having a, a, a fast grip on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, I will and I will protect her modesty. <laughs> and if I see any Germans, I will report them to you. Yeah. On Lars' advice, we avoided the Germans dressed as tourists and tracked down the organ player to a nearby square. Well, I heard stories about you earlier. <laughs> you I, was, I was told that we had to watch you because you was a lecherous man <laughs> that had come back from the wars and yes, was injured. Yes, come back, you can see here. Yeah. And, here. and that you were chasing <laughs> after married women. And you were a man of low repute. That's oh, what we were told. I, I, 
I suppose it's uh, Lars you talk to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you know him. He, yes, I know him. He said, uh, he said some, some things about me. Yes. It was all tongue in cheek. <laughs> <laughs> You will actually marry it. Yeah, I mean, but you, you should have a little. Uh, yeah, I have some children. I have some uh, children, but the interest uh, is not true. Okay, it's just rumors. Yes. Okay. It's just rumors. I believe him, didn't you? No. Yeah, yeah, I definitely do. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, there's a lot of tittle tattle here, isn't there? <laughs> and we were told to watch out for the Germans, and we did. We did meet a few Germans yeah, today. Yeah, well, actually, we met some Germans here. Yeah, we met some Germans. Yeah, we, so yeah. we have to report it. Yeah. Uh, we they were dressed like as they were dressed as modern tourists <laughs> in disguise. <laughs> <laughs> They're cunning, uh, aren't they? They're cunning, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, spies. I think that's. I love this little. Uh, does it actually work? I'll oh, give us a demonstration. Yeah. <laughs> Did you have to go to music college? <laughs> yes, you need a long education for this. Beautiful, thank you. Now we've had a really good day here today, unfortunately. Oh, Unfortunately, I've got to go back to England tomorrow. <laughs>
I love that tank. Actually, uh, there's a place here where they still make these barrels, you know, of wood. And I saw the other day, I saw a documentary how you do it. Oh, they hoop that. Yeah, I've seen yeah. that, how they do it. Yeah. They soak them in water. Yeah, they soak them in water so the, so the wood would expand. Yeah. And then they put this ring on. Mm -hmm. they and then they squeeze them really, really yeah. tight. Yeah. It's just like a barrel, actually. Barrel disguised as a rubbish bin. Okay. It's beautiful. Look at this. Look, take a shot of this building here. Yeah, definitely. All the will. way down the side. Now, if you notice, some of those are replacements because some of them are carved with patterns on there, you know, on the arch supports, yeah, yeah. and others haven't, so they must be later replacements. Yeah. And look yeah. at the view down there, look. There you have an old mill. Look at the view down there, it's beautiful. Down that yeah. alleyway. Yeah, just want to avoid the... Yeah. No, I just want to avoid the people, yeah. yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. This is an absolutely fascinating site. There's so many beautiful buildings, which I understand have been re-erected here from demolition sites across Denmark. Uh, the staff here play reenactments. They have to dress up in costume. So it gets a bit confusing because we're going through different time zones. So the girl in the baker shop had no clue about the characters I spoke to further back on the site who relate to uh, an earlier period. And uh, what's fascinating about this is the, uh, because of the role playing, the people that are playing their different roles don't necessarily know what other time periods people are talking about. So it gets highly confusing. But this has been a really nice day today and there's still so much more to see. And this is my last day unfortunately because time just travels very, very quickly and I'm returning back tomorrow to Stansted. But this has been really fascinating. Thank you, my Brit. Oh, look up here, look. Can you see the water overflow? It's oh, shaped like yeah. a dragon. Absolutely fantastic. A lot of imaginations. Yeah, definitely. And here's uh, ceramics. Yeah. Those are very beautiful. I actually like this better than, than the other china. Yeah, that, that's beautiful. This I actually have. It's not for sale, but this I have. It's called Blue Alder. I actually I gathered this and I found some of it in, um, in, a, in a shop in, in Aarhus many, many years ago. I was living here in Aarhus for 20 years ago. And I actually gathered this, uh, this porcelain and this china. Exactly. So it's not real China, actually. This is not China. It's a mix of China and ceramics. But it's actually German. And here you got glass. Mark is called Blue Olga. Yeah. yeah. And you got and you got glass here. I love these glasses. It appears like French glasses, you know. But I think this was from Holmago. Holmago is a very famous Danish. Also, this is Holmago. These are still still produced, but French inspired, right? And uh, because it's Holmogors is the oldest uh, glass blowing company. Well, what we're looking at here is like an ironmonger shop. Yeah. What a beautiful shop. Yes, it's actually a soap, a soap house, a soap shop. This is the toilet uh, articles for for hair care and for skin care. And this looks like a new one they put. Well, a, uh, uh, yeah. a new old building, I should say. Yeah. <laughs> See, what do you actually do here? 
Well, I am the um, shopkeeper, I think it's called. Mm -hmm. Yes. So uh, the grocer, he is uh, in his office doing all the. Yeah, you can go down there. With oh, right. Yeah, he's doing all the accountants. And he's a very rich man. He owns this place and he owns a ship where he gets all the spices and all the coffee he has. And uh, I just managed uh, the shop. Actually. So you're a shop or assistant or manager? I'm a shop assistant, but it is very, uh, it's a high rank here. And the clothing in, uh, you're wearing dates from what, late 19th century? No, 1800. Oh, 1800? Uh, oh, yeah. 1864. Yeah, and 1864, that was the year that Denmark lost a big uh, war. And they became a little country, actually, because Denmark today is a little country. Was that with the Germans? Yes, that was uh, with yeah. the Germans, yes. Almost all our wars are. We were told to watch out for the Germans, weren't we? Yes, yes, but that's a, that is a good idea. <laughs> we actually met some Germans just disguised as tourists. Today. Disguised yeah. as tourists, haven't we? Oh, yeah. But we didn't let on that we knew. No, okay, that's very good. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a very um, it's a very characteristic year for Denmark. Uh, and, and what you've got here is different types of licorice, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I do have uh, English licorice. We call it English licorice. Oh, yes. Uh, oh. It is actually from Italy. <laughs> yeah, Amarelli, yeah. Yes, um, and it's been known in Denmark since the Vikings. They brought it home from England when they uh, went over there. This is sweet, it's very good. This is uh, salty. Pour uh, yourself a, a piece of licorice. Like yeah, salty, I like salty. Would you like salty? Yeah, we should just have a piece of a salty. Do you like salty licorice also? Oh, I haven't tried it, but... Haven't you? No, not... But, but, but licorice I have. Um, yeah, it's one of each, yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. You should try the salty licorice, actually, if, if you're up to it, because it's it's actually... Yeah. So one of each, or...? Well, well, yeah, one of each, that'd be yeah, fine. Yeah, we can just flip it out. That'd be 11. 11 kronos. Yeah. Take this one. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. So what do you guys, all you guys do when the winter comes? It's not open all year, is it? Oh yes, it is. It is open yeah, all year. Yeah, it must be yeah. freezing cold here. Yeah, it is very much, um, and it's very dark. Yeah. yeah. Um, but in the Christmas time, there's a lot of uh, people in the streets as well. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Yes. Well, I, I love the displays there. I just wandered around the whole site. Yeah. We have a place, places. We have one or two sites like this in England. Yeah. Uh, yeah where I've they about, re-erected I've heard, I've heard the buildings. It. Yeah. I think the the, the British have a lot uh, actually. Place like that, uh, and whole villages also. Whole towns and villages, yeah. and they've got one now which has actually got steam steam trains yeah. and uh, yeah. trams. Oh, wow. yeah. yeah, yeah. There is a, a a British guy working here. Um, also, he, he tells about uh, what they do have in there. Oh right, so yeah. he knows all about that yeah. over there. Yeah. yeah, and this is very similar. I mean, these are all buildings that were placed at risk, weren't they? They, they are from, uh, actually the buildings are from all over Denmark. Denmark yeah, yeah. yeah. from yeah. sites where they wanted to build a motorway yes, yes. or... Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, but this, um, this um, what do you call it? Uh, display? Park. Yeah, well, well this, this building. Yeah. This building, from, uh, yeah. It's from Aarhus. It's from Aarhus. So it, 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 it's from... This, this is local. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Well, thank you very much for your time. Yeah. appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, no, no problem. Good day. Hello there. It's amazing everyone speaks English. That's very useful for me. <laughs> So what is, what is your job here? Yeah, I'm, the, I'm working here in the kitchen as a maid. You're a maid, yeah. yeah. And you serve the family. Day, so we're having a little rest and we've been singing hymns. Oh, oh yeah. We singing hymns. Hymn. Hmm? Because it's Sunday today. Jesus, just hold up. Måske. Det er en, man kan. Er det ikke det? Jesus, det er det jo en morgensang. I think you should sing a hymn. Sunday today. You got a very nice voice. Yeah, I was like, I just smoked everything. That was lovely. Thank you.